So my wife and I, Pearl, had a chance to go to Lebanon, the country, not the place that creates baloney in Pennsylvania. And uh, we went over with World Vision to see their work with the Syrian refugee crisis. Uh, one of the things that's happening is currently there's 12 million or so Syrian refugees. Two million of them have fled into Lebanon. And what's wild to think about is Lebanon's a country of only four million. So they now, one in three people there is a refugee. When Americans think of refugees, we've been conditioned to think about immigration and terrorism. And we met um, refugee after refugee that they're carrying a key in their pocket and it's a key to their home in Syria. And they don't wanna to come to the US, they wanna go home. We got to see what World Vision is doing in the Bekaa Valley. Out of the two million refugees, 85% of them are women and children. So they're putting work towards education. Uh, they're putting work towards just how do they keep them alive with water and sanitation and health. And then they're also working with the government and other NGOs to say, how do we make long-term solutions? Because it is on average a 17 year stint as a refugee. And they know that when these people arrive, they're gonna be there for some time. World Vision is creating uh, two simple next steps. One is um, the Refugee Relief Fund, which works kind of like a child sponsorship where you commit to $30 a month to, to support their ongoing work. Um, and then just a, a, a real simple first step that they've created is this thing called a Promise Pack. World Vision is saying that this is the largest humanitarian crisis since World War II, and we don't know how to respond to something that big. Um, but we do, how, we do know how to bring hope to a child. This backpack just has simple gifts that they give in these kids. And I mean, it's like paper to draw on, it's crayons, it's hygiene. It's just simple things that uh, a child gets that just brings joy to them. And let's give a child a backpack that gives them hope, that brings excitement back into the home. Um, and so we've been, as a campus, trying to rally our county and our campus to respond. Um, and we're slowly making the conversation bigger than just LCBC, but inviting other churches and community leaders to be a part of it. So I can't stop a war. I can't help 12 million but I can buy a $12 backpack to make a difference in a child's life.